Hi there, boys and girls. Today for story time, let's read Skippy John Jones by Judy Shackner. Now, the beginning's kind of important because it shows Skippy John Jones playing in the birdbath. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. <clears throat> and this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded, or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Mr. Doohiggy's bird bath. <coughs> Excuse me. The lecture went on and on as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants, said his mother about just what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. Oh dear, he got in trouble. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I am Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole, exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up he went again, and again it appeared. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and a sword and climbed onto his mouse, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a mooey mooey soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I am sweet like jello. I get the job done, yes indeedo. Skippy John Jones likes to pretend a lot. Back in the kitchen, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? asked Jujubee. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John Jones wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. He was in trouble. <clears throat> With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterious band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Hi, caramba! Who goes there? asked, Skip asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichongos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Scapito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? Asked Poquito Tito. I go incognito, said Scapito. Do you like rice and beans? Asked Pintolito. Si, I love mice and beans, said Scapito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, 
half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. Large ear. Achu Pichu! Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it is through, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito! It's the end of Alfredo Bozito! Scapito is here! We have nothing to fear! Adios to the big bad Bumblebito! Then all of the chimichongos went crazy loco. Ha! <laughs> Muy loco. First, they had a fiesta. Then, they took a siesta. Siesta is a party. Siesta is a nap. Rest time. But after waking up, the chimichongos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebito for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichongos, so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bozito whispered the crowd. El Blimpo Bumblebito Bandito. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito. The Bandito steals our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Scapito, outraged. Si, sí, Poquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa, coffee, kidney beans, pinto and jelly beans too. And now... He comes for us, Poquito added. Por qué? asked Capito. Because we are full of beans, too. Then Don Diego stood tall, and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Capito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Poquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Capito. asked Capito. Then all the chimichongos turned towards Scapito, the great sword fighter. <clears throat> but poor Scapito had no time for a plan, because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichongos scattered in all directions. Vamanos, Scapito, or it is you, the bandito will eat, they cried. running away scared. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs, his legs shimmied and shook like the jello, and his teeth chattered like the castanets. Then in a muy, muy soft voice he said, My name is Scapito Fresquito. I fear not a single bam bandito. But Alfredo Bazito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy free holes! cried Scipito as he thrust his sword in the air. Suddenly, pop, went the bandito, landing on Scipito's sword, and quicker than one could say, chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers. Every kind of bean came spilling out of Alfredo Bozito, the bumblebito bandito. His sword made it pop, and all the beans came out. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, 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 our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams, who delivered the beans, and now we can make burritos. They're so happy to have their beans back. But back home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John Jones' room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Panguito, Crashito, Papito, Skippito, just in time to see Skippy John Jones' closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, beanbag doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday piñata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. 
Holy muchachitas, he said in a muy muy soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John Jones and covered his head with furry purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. Remember, he was supposed to stay out of the closet. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John Jones began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce in my bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say good night, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenas noches, mi am mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. Buenas noches means good night, and mis amigos means friends. Adios. Skippy John Jones. I hope you enjoyed the story. Skippy John Jones is always pretending. Did you notice at the beginning when he got in trouble, his mom was saying to think about what it means to be a cat, not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. He's always pretending. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you next time. Adios, mis amigos.